Good morning, folks. Good morning. Now, if you missed uh, last week's streams, you'll be thinking we're probably going to be playing Minecraft today. However, Minecraft has moved to Saturday, and I streamed like seven hours of Minecraft uh, this Saturday, and like almost eight hours of like Hygieneer, so Saturdays are, Saturday was a pretty bumping streaming day. We got a lot done. I had a lot of fun with a lot of just chill ass games, but so but today we're starting a new game. We are starting Dragon Quest VIII. I have been meaning to play this game for a long time. And I just cause sometimes just hasn't just have never gotten to it, you know? Like sometimes game there's just games like that. It's quite unfortunate, but we're 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 making amends. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be starting Dragon Quest Day today and all that fun stuff. But before we start that adventure, I am still trying to fundraise to help my friend Hachiko get back on his feet. He's trying to move into a new place. Need needs help getting money for the deposit because he's, it's hard. It can't. It's hard to hold on a job when you've been like financially abused and taken advantage of and just if you know with just being sick and all that other stuff too doesn't help either so yeah we're just trying to get we are just trying to help him out so any assistance you're able to throw his way is greatly appreciated i have his coffee link on my layout i have it in the uh, i have a chat bot that shares it and i also have a command for it so any way you want to support him is awesome. All right. Oh, well, you don't need to see that. That's something I'm working on. <laughs> we just uh, minimize that. And let's pull up the PS2 thing. D ignore the bean behind the, the, the curtain. <laughs> All right. Now, if only if now if only if the game would I have to close this, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna close it and reopen it because the the window was jacked up. Matter of fact, we're gonna push this like push the uh, emulators higher than basically everything else because. Otherwise, you get weird stuff going on. All right, let's try that again. Come on. Why are you being funky? Uh, really, really, game? You just gonna be like this? <sighs> there's always, there's always gotta be something, right? Jesus. Okay, we'll close the emulator, open it again. <laughs> it was literally working fine last week with no, with no problems. Whatever. There it goes, fine. Alright. Uh, um, I'm gonna just do normal. Why can't you be normal? Uh, mon Arl. <laughs> Arl. Alright, that's fine. I think this game has an interest, so I can eat some more of my food.
Well, I guess not very much of an intro. <laughs> Alright, well... I... Let's go. That's pretty cursed. <laughs> Your quest has begun. <laughs> Probably should have read the other stuff too, but I was just I'm kind of just here for the ride right now as well. Hello, Alka. Alku. <laughs> you probably said your name completely wrong. Welcome. I hope you're doing well this morning. Look at this little guy. Look at this little lad. It's also 7 a.m., so my brain's still not firing on uh, all cylinders. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I love Dragon Quest. I am a Dragon Quest aficionado, and it's a crime I haven't played this game yet, so. Oi, get It's gonna get dark if we hang about here much longer. Let's head into town. There's better places than this to spend an evening. Shake a leg, Gov. No, I, it's a crime. I just, I never had a, I didn't own a PS2 growing up. Just cause I just didn't. Too poor. But I'm excited. Well, let's shake a leg. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to figure this out. Thanks. Uh, I can already cause property damage. <laughs> I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. <laughs> Not that I can talk, though, eh? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. Hmm. Who's Codger? I do hope you're not referring to me. <laughs> what would you know? A lowlife like you wouldn't recognize the ability if it came up and bit you on the ah. <laughs> Enough dilly-dallying. Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. Uh-oh. Yeah, we are, we are, our cart is a little, um, empty. Oh, it's friends. Hello, friends. <laughs> little friends. This is, I'm emulating this on PS2, so, yay, woo! Uh oh, look out! We, we might have to fight something! Oh no! Well, that's. that was dangerous! A whole grand total of zero damage! <clears throat> 
Ooh, I got a medicinal herb. Okay, so this is after the uh, localization well, sink. They certainly took us by surprise, but nothing we couldn't handle. Eh? <clears throat> now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the princess. Ah, yep. There that's... you are. Thank goodness you're safe, my dear. Hey, hey. The horse princess is back. <laughs> the horse. I say we make a move now before it gets dark. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, nice. I've not played seven either. <laughs> I've heard seven can be uh, tough to get into. Which makes me apprehensive, because I tried playing Dragon Quest 2, and I despised it extremely. So, maybe I'll, I can I can circle around to 7 to give it my best shot, though. In that, in that case, I, I might have to try finding, well, emulating the 3DS version, because I'm sure I can find the, the stuff to do it on my PC, but... Uh, I figured the PS2 version of this game was probably good enough. Because I hadn't heard anyone ever have any problems out of the PS2 version. They're all just like, what the fuck is that? Looks like we have made it to the town. Yes! Yes! Here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. This is the town where Master Rylus lives. Oh, your horses, Granddad. I thought it was Dalmagus we was after. I am not your granddad. <laughs> and of course, Du Magus is our man. He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. But that dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. We must track him down and lift this confounded curse. Oh, just look at my poor Medea. And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. <laughs> Oh, Argonia, huh? Despicable Dulmagus. <laughs> I know. I know that's not related to Elder Scrolls. It's just funny. That's just the same name. <laughs> that's why it's imperative we locate Rylus. Will you go and find him? That's the spirit. I knew I could rely on you. I'll be waiting here. He's like, oh, we we got turned into such freaks. And then he's gonna have her have her marry a lizard. <laughs> well, let's. Oh, what's up? What's up, Yangus? You weren't thinking of going without me, I hope. I'm the best there is when it comes to looking for people. It's my piece of resistance, as they say. All right. Save your progress at the church. Okay. Now for the DQ staples, S stumbling around town, talking to people, just property damage. <laughs> I 
Hey, I hope you don't mind, but... <laughs> it's even be it's even better because you just pick the things up and you can just waddle around with them too. That's even better. <clears throat> okay, that's menu. Never guess what? A horse drawn wagon just passed by here, and there was a monster on it. Wait a minute, you're the people who came in with it. So, y you're w w with the monster? Wah! <laughs> oh, he actually ran. Bye. <laughs> uh, let's talk to this dude, I guess. Hmm? Travelers, are you? Well, welcome to Fairbury. I don't know what you're doing here, and I don't really care. <laughs> Just keep yourself to your selves and there won't be any trouble. Fair enough. What's up, old dude? This is the second time, you know. The second time I've lost a friend in a fire. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if I remember rightly, the first time it happened, I was 30. You can never be too careful of fire, you know. Oh, I have a little FPS mode, okay. First person dragon quest. Oh, the most important person to talk to. Meow. Oh, I guess it's where that friend perished. Don't worry, I'll put the fire out. Ugh. This, this, this ought to do it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Armor. Ooh. Can I pick these up? Ah. You you win this day, crate. <laughs> Welcome to Fairbury. Are you here looking for that key too? Uh, no. No, of course not. I understand. You can't go telling everyone. Wait, what? Sure. Oh, uh, let's just pretend I know what the. F it isn't. Uh, it isn't that crate. Well, isn't that crate? <laughs> Got good one. Are you here for- Yeah, I'm gonna pretend I know what key she's talking about. I knew it! You've got that look about you. It's written all over your faces, especially the stocky one. Hey, you talking about me? What writing on my face? Who's gone and written on my head? You're thieves. You're looking for the thieves key. I could tell as soon as I laid eyes on you. Oh, I mean, I probably do want to find that, but I wasn't sure if there was some other key. Oh. Fuck you, crate. <laughs> Ruining my plans for property destruction. Okay, that's a uh, th that's a win. That, I was gonna say, oh, that's a nice cabinet. That's a fucking window, Mobus. Wake up. <laughs> oh, ne yes. Uh, I was trying to throw it down, like off the side of the thing there. Because I have no respect for this town. Ah! Uh, it almost went. Oh well, good enough. <laughs> ah! Traitorous crates. Well, there's a pub. That's usually a pretty good place for information. Can I go in here? Oh, nice vases. Well, isn't that, well, this is awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole, the whole carrying it around thing just makes it all <laughs> just even better. Cause in eleven, you just kind of like pick them up and toss them immediately. But like this, you just you can chase them down and throw it in their face. I can't believe Kao Darasha. What's happened to him? He's never liked this before. It's such a shame for poor Valentina. I'm sure I know who those people are. Yeah, this is great. No time for a chat. I'm far too busy. If I don't get on with the cooking, dinner's gonna be gonna be late. Who are you anyway? If you're looking for my husband, he's just over there. I'm looking for your vases. Ah, we can open these. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your clothes, or or your money. Your money or your life, preferably your money. Okay, that's not that's nothing burger and oh 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 this house is like an obstacle course. <laughs> I 
Oh boy, bunny girls. Hello, Mr. Beefcake. <laughs> Just the one after work, really. <laughs> Hits the spot, sir. What do you want with me then? Eh, you looking for someone? Get out of here. Why are you boring me with that rubbish? This is a pub. <laughs> You're supposed to relax. If you're too tense, have a drink or let it all out in the battlefield. At least you can put your attention to good use out there. You know, if you psych yourself up enough, your attacks and magic get more powerful. So save it for fighting, alright? Remember, increasing your tension by psyching up. Decrease it by having a <laughs> drink. <laughs> Beer! Sweet hops. Have you heard about the fire we had in town the other day? People are saying it was arson! Oops, that's a bit of a hot topic. We better not talk about it anymore. He's a miserable excuse for a fortune teller, that Calderasha. He was a famous he was famous once, you know. They called him the great the great Calderasha. Look at him now, he's fortune telling's gone to pot since he started spending every day in here. The only glass he stares into these days is the one he drinks out of. No, wait a minute. Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe he started drinking after his fortune telling went to the dogs. Well dogs I'm sure a dog could appreciate some fortune telling as well. Ooh, I love seeing new faces. You're not from around here, are you? Is that little creature in your pocket a pet of yours? It's so adorable. What's its name? Tee Munchie? Oh my god, that's actually a really cute name. Cute name for a little cute little fellow. Well, Munchie, enjoy your stay. <laughs> Hello, are you looking for someone? Yes. Master Rylus, so, you haven't heard. Oh, you son of a bitch. I, I kind of thought that might be who died, because of course it is, because that's who we're looking for. Actually, just between you and me, I think he was... M Oops! I didn't say that. <laughs> haven't you had enough, Mr. Calderasha, sir? I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This, uh, haphazard fortune telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. What? My fortune telling? Haphazard? Are you a this guy's got the Hercule fool? look. Let me tell you something. All fortune telling is haphazard. What do you expect? Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? It would only have led to another disaster. That's what. I'm sorry, Mr. Kodarasha, sir. I don't follow. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I cannot believe he's gone. Burman size. What? What is it? You come <laughs> show your face to the great Calderasha. Yes, yes. Uh oh. Quick, quick! Everyone, come quick! There's a monster in town. Oh, shut up! Just, just come and see. The whole town's gone crazy. Oh goddamn. Unless it's a different monster than the one we are traveling with. <laughs> you could get hurt if you get caught in that. You better not go down there. Oh come on, really? What 
What's all the fuss about? That's well, we're trying to find that out, huh? There's a monster down in the courtyard. I suppose I might be able to get around the, the, by the town gates. <laughs> this part of the song is chaotic as shit. It's like Koichi Sugiyama just like said fucking started banging, banging a spoon on like some pots and pans. Oh, there's a well. Let's climb into the well. It's probably not where we need to go, but hey, there's, there tends to be treasure in these wells. Ooh, perfect. No, don't grab my one. No, no pot left behind. Good God. Come on. Yeah. We should we shouldn't have left them unattended. Ooh, he looked at me. Oh it's hideous. Get out! Get out, monster! You're not welcome here! Oh, oh poor dude. Fucking humans. Well, that was a fine reception. Don't do you realize who I am? No. Hmm. Judging a book by its cover, don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, you can say that again. So then, did you manage to find Master Rhinus? What? He's dead? Oh, no, no, no! Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dulmagus we're after! He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate him. But it seems we'll just have to track Dulmagus down by ourselves. With Rylus gone, we have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. Wait. Please wait. I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. Are you not afraid of me, young lady? I dreamt about you. I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. And. I dreamt <clears throat> that they could make wishes come true. Oh, I'm sure we can. A strange <laughs> creature? Are you referring to me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. You're about the same age. Anyway, uh, you say you had a dream about me. 
Miss Peculiar. I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina, daughter of the great fortune teller Calda Rasha. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well, at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you! He could just explain it here, outside of town. What was she rabbit in on about? Come round my house, she says. <laughs> Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all, not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. We must give this young girl a helping hand. Right then, my boy. Go and find the house by the well and see what it is she wants. Hmm? Me? I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of a stir. <clears throat> Okay, well, um... A little so that they would have a well up on the second, like, story of the town. Because that's just, like, an even deeper well that you have to dig. But, who am I, who am I to judge? I'm guessing it's this house. Dead giveaway. <laughs> Big ass crystal ball. You got some drink? You got some drink for me? No? Rude. Uh, what else? We got anything in here? You have a vase and an herb. You have a barrel. After many long years spent researching monsters, I have reached an unexpected conclusion. It appears that nocturnal monsters are far stronger and more vicious than their daytime counterparts. What an incredible discovery, and I must redouble my efforts to fathom the secrets of monster biology. <laughs> I know some of my friends think about monster biology a lot, but that's that's not probably a, not a topic for this stream. <laughs> uh, let's talk to this to Valentina here. Wakey, wakey. Ah, you came. Phrasing. I'm so sorry. I, I must have drifted off. How rude of me. I wanted to ask you a favor about this crystal ball. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning? Of course. Let me explain. My father, Calda Rasha, was once a really famous fortune teller. Lost treasure, missing people, there was nothing the great Kaldarasha couldn't help people with. But then one day, he lost his powers. All of a sudden, nothing he foretold turned out to be true anymore. It's probably because he stopped using a real crystal ball. This glass ball isn't... <gasps> Valentina, what is going on here? How many times have I told you not to touch my crystal ball? What? Aren't you that boy from the pub? What brings you here? Gah, never mind. I do not know what my daughter has asked you, but you can forget it. I do not need your help. I am fine as I am. I am going to bed. Valentina, say your farewells and show our young visitor to the door. Surprised he can get up the stairs. <laughs> I'm sorry about my father. But whatever he says, 
He's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers. That's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? One that's big enough to bring back his powers? Really? You will? Oh, this is exactly how it all happened in my dream. Wow! Fantastic! So far, everything's come true. I also dreamt that there's a crystal ball hidden deep inside the cave, under the <clears throat> big waterfall to the south of town. That's an oddly specific dream. <laughs> I suppose only the daughter of the great Kaldarasha could know a thing like that. He should just use you. Apparently you can just dream the future anyway. Why get through all this trouble? Just say, hey, dream me up something cool. Okay, cool, no problem. <laughs> Oh, maybe I've had a bit, a bit too much. You know, I've been thinking, first that weird clown, and now that green monster, there's a lot of strange things going on. If you ask me, it's a omen. Something bad's gonna happen. I'm sure it is. Oh, come on, let me just jump off the side of the, the wall. I'm sure I already broke these, but I'll break them again. <sighs> okay, probably not that gate then. Probably this one. Hmm, I see. Magnificent! Such devotion to her father. I'm <laughs> impressed. Just how a daughter should be. <clears throat> So far, the characters in this are very expressive, and I love it. And if this Kaldarasha gets his powers back, there's nothing he can't find, am I right? Then we'll kill two birds with one stone. If everything goes according to plan, we'll find out where that hateful Dolmagus is. The time's getting on. Uh, Medea and I will stay outside. That's the last time we set foot in a barbaric town like this. But you should spend the night at the inn and rest well, so that you're ready to take on the world tomorrow. In the morning, we leave for the Waterfall Cave! Good morning. Did you have a good rest? It was dark, so I couldn't be sure. But I think the old man you came with slept in his wagon outside the town gates last night. Anyway, have a safe trip. I'm scanning for just for scanning for targets. Target acquired. <laughs> well, hello, madam. How could anyone be so spiteful? said I'll never see him again. My precious ring. And then you, do you know what he said? He even said that if I did find it again, it wouldn't go over my fat finger. I never dreamt a fortune teller could be so shameless. Oh, he won't be getting any more of my business, I can assure you. Oh, I pressed, I pressed the button too much. Welcome to the Weary Wanderer, Fate Berry's oldest inn. I'm here to make your travels more comfortable and explain a few things. 
X is okay, okay, fine. R2 lets you look through your own eyes. Well, you should let me have this, uh... No, no, you're, you're adorable, but I don't want to talk to you again. No! No! Not like this! <laughs> Damn it. Holy water. Oh, Camaro wing, okay. Oh, you're the one who came looking for the Master Rylus, aren't you? He was a strange one, Rylus, right up to the end. I mean, talk about a strange way to go. I convinced somebody bumped him off. Oops, I never said that. I always managed to put my foot in it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't stop blurting things out. So that button and this uh, kind of back button. Four, eighteen, sixteen. Okay, so I can s I can basically sell most, if not all, that stuff that's in here. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. <laughs> oh well, I probably could have sold that, but I'm still learning the buttons for this game. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know if I should buy anything yet, because I can't imagine the monsters around here are that hard, but... Hmm. I feel like that's more worth to buy, one of these for Yangus at the very least. <clears throat> now it's self. Let's see, let's 
probably buy some more herbs, because I can't imagine we have a healing spell already. <clears throat> Why are there like two item shops? Oh, that's, that's convenient I have just enough for five. Oh, I didn't even look. No, let's go find, let's go find some Jesus, because we've been playing for a bit and haven't saved yet. I would be quite annoyed if I had to redo any of this. It appears to be an old journal of some kind. The great wizard finally reached Fairbury after a long and arduous journey, welcoming in such a sage to our town as a truly unparalleled honor. Long may the sage and his descendants stay in the town of Fairbury. Huzzah! Great. Any jaws for me to break? Any barrels for me to bust? Oh, the Rajas! Ah, locked chest, huh? I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> You know, a man died in here in a fire just recently. I thought I'd say a prayer for the poor fellow. He was quite a looker, you know, and the, ha and the heir to a great sage, apparently. Ah. I figured that's who they were talking about. Faithful servant of the goddess, how may our church assist you? I am penniless. Please, please save me. I swear there was a way down from there, but maybe it was on this side. Ah, Mavis. I was starting to think you got lost. Alright, let's go to the waterfall cave and see if we can find that crystal ball. Hey, Hale. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you continue to have a wonderful day. I love you lots. Yeah, I've, I've been meaning to play this for a long time. Medea and I will be right behind you. If you have any trouble, feel free to consult us. I'm sure there's nothing we can't solve if we put our heads together. Away we go! Aww. 
thank you. <laughs> we're, are we talking about random? I'm guessing we're talking about random encounters here because I don't see any monsters. Then again, I also accidentally used a holy water. Oh wow, nice. Oh my god, look at this, look at this jovial fellow. This, this guy looks a little too happy, we have to kill him. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude just went... Yeah, we're gonna need to level up a little bit. Normal music. <clears throat> Hello, sheep. Me too, buddy. Well, there's a the cave, I'm gonna assume. I mean, it look it looks like a waterfall cave. But yeah, that me accidentally using that holy water sucks because now one we could have sold it, but two I'm just not finding any enemies. There we go. Yangus seems a little tankier with more HP, so we'll, we'll put. Uh, he just way one runs is pretty funny too. He's a little bit of chunk. He's a little chunkier. So we're just gonna run around and try to find some more battles. Oh, these peppers! Okay, I've seen them in I've seen them in a uh, DQ uh, eleven. I was wondering which game they came from. If they came from a different one. <clears throat> Caps of chums. I hate it, but I love it. Oh wow, that bunny corn stick. I have a feeling we might have ran into a slightly harder area, because these guys are a bit stronger than the slimes were. I mean, not egregiously so, but like... They definitely take a beating. Rude? Don't do that. 
Well, that XP is a lot better, so maybe we'll just stay in this area. 2 HP. Strength, resilience. 3 HP. One of the things except resilience. Eh, we'll be fine. Oh, thank god, now I can actually get some battles. Smooth dodge. Got him. Alright, cool, whatever, I guess. I was, I was gonna see if I could see how much XP they need to level up. Hello, 3Gs, good morning. We are just starting Dragon Quest Eight. I'm running around fighting all the critters. As one does. Oh, caps of chums. <laughs> No bully! Bad, bad peppers. No bully. Oh, you ran out of MP, asshole. <laughs> now the XP from these peppers is better than the slimes by a fair bit. Oh, that, so that's the button you use to talk. Now, once you see where you're headed, don't forget up the path to go straight there. No messing. Alright, so there might be a few more monsters, but real men don't need to worry about that. We can't be putting ourselves in danger like that. So I'm relying on you to find the crystal ball. Slime XP it probably is tastier, but it's a, a little slower than I would prefer it to be. Oh, these guys! <laughs> let's beat up. Let's beat some ass. <laughs> Do -do -do! <laughs> Oh, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. You're not that good anyway. <laughs> Level three. Looks like Yangus levels up faster than the hero does. Ba 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 I'm just running around and pro uh oh Lips Look out there's a pair of lips in the way in the way Kill the lips Oh wow Rude
Gross. Yeah, you got, you got to be mindful of monsters doing that kind of stuff in Dragon Quest. Your next bunny corn A. Ow, you do a lot of damage. Maybe I should buy some armor. Fourteen XP though. Perfect. Oh, we got some MP and we could probably learn to spell. Two strength. Yes. Alright. I don't have any MP. <laughs> oh, I just learned a spell. Great! No MP. Pain. I'm trying to figure out where the town is, because I don't have a world map. So I'm guessing it's probably back this way somewhere. Oh, a lips! Look out its lips! Oh, oh, you don't, oh, you don't notice our presence. You're fucked. Oh, free herb. We take that. That replaces one of the ones we used. There's a horse! Yeah. I hope we're going the right way. Yeah, that that's definitely uh the town. Oh yeah, we found slimes again. That's probably where we're supposed to be going. Slimes destroyed. Dre. Thanks, bud. Hope you're having a great morning. This is Dragon Quest 8, and we're just starting it today. Lips? Get fucked. <laughs> just bash its fucking skull in. I don't want to sleep because there might be the, the enemies will be harder on the outside. Yep. Oh, I just time skipped it for us. All right. Let's see if this store has. Okay, that's the store I think I bought stuff from previously. What about this one? I'm sure. I'm sure that jester somewhere. I've seen that jester somewhere for a long time ago now, but. He looked a lot like a fellow Master Rallis had as an apprentice once, although he was far more mild-mannered than the Jester. Yes, he is very timid. Didn't have a look, a lot of punch. So people can change, can't they? Oh, you're not you're not actually an item shop. Rude. How much money do we have? Sixty-seven. That might not be enough to really buy much. But let's look anyway. Hmm. 
A boomerang. Ooh, that would be really good. 420. Yeah, I would love that boomerang, but that's a real that's a little more bit more money than I'm really capable of mustering up at the moment. Honestly, same with like all of this stuff. So I guess for I guess for now uh, we're just gonna focus on getting Mobus a little bit more defensive power. Because Mobus is kinda taking a bit of a beating, admittedly, from a lot of those monsters that were giving us the XP. I don't think these probably haven't respawned. Oh, he, he carries it differently too. This is mine now. <laughs> You're the one that was yelling about the monster when we were in town. Fuck you! <laughs> I'll destroy your vase. Oh, we can sell this pot lid shield. Well, for 70 gold, we can get three, three more defense. Or for 180, which we don't have, we could get, uh, like, a lot more. Like, six, like, seven more. Eh, I'll buy Wayfarer's clothes. Oh, well, I, I meant to sell the, uh, I meant to sell the, um, the old stuff that Mavis still had. Yeah, sell these. That's, her, that's herb money. Okay, so we need to buy more orbs. What's our HP stuff looking like? Oh, we're, we're not that hurt. So let's, uh, we're not gonna sleep. I don't think time passes in towns. It normally doesn't pass in towns. So let's buy some more herbs now. It's kind of a survival rationing at this point in the game, I can tell, because the monsters don't drop much money, and we're still kind of getting battered around a little bit, but I think Maba should be a little tankier now at the very least. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what the f- Candy cats? What the fuck are you? Whatever you are, you're gonna perish. I love that, that cat sound effect that they make when they attack. <laughs> Aww. Alright, how much XP those give? I mean... Two and two for an easy fight, that's not half bad, honestly. Ooh, what do we have over here? Oh, probably just another gate. Drackies! Hello, little guys. Little friends, actually. I like them a lot. They're friend-shaped. Oh, 
Oh, look at you, you, you little, you little sassy fuck. <laughs> you can't just dodge my attacks like that. That's rude. Oh, those give more money. I like them even more than the kitties. We have found some peppers just right on the doorstep. I like how you can get this guy gets like a jumping start. How much money we got now? Twenty one? Um, I mean, honestly, at this point, we're probably fine to go um to the waterfall cave. I would imagine. Yeah, we'll fight until it's like morning time. That way, we don't waste any of the night. That's a lot, a lot of enemies. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like eleven gold from this fight. Sneaky. Ooh, Ingus did skill points already? Okay. I do love me some hatchet man, but I don't think I have an axe yet. Humanity. Hmm. Okay, so it's not gonna let us, uh... Not do it right now. Um, well, I think we have a club right now, so we should probably, uh... Okay, wrong wrong button. <laughs> yep, that is it. In fact, a club. Yeah, I was gonna say I want to at least get another level up with uh, the hero so that we get more a little bit more MP to cast some heal spells, which will extend our uh, our trips out and about even more. Oh, that's a big group just for this area. All right, well. Oh, critical hit. You love to see it. Not cool, man. Uh oh. Looks like you're all out of juice, buddy. I don't know if peppers really have juice. Ooh, a lot of XP, level up. A little bit more MP. I was hoping to get five so we could have like five casts of heal, because I think it's like two per cast. Learn squelch. Ooh, that's useful. Two skill points.
Hmm. I would love to do boomerangs, but the first boomerang is like really expensive, so we don't have that money, so we're gonna put some in swords. Oh, oh hello. That's some money right there. Extra money. Well, let's see what we can get from that sword, because that's probably the sword that we have with, um... Oh, we have a soldier sword, so that might even be better than the one that we, we have. Maybe? It is bet. Ooh, that was a, that was kind of something I was looking at, had my eye on, but just could not afford because it's like two hundred something gold, and that fucking pepper just gave us a sword. Well, looks like we're not going to be able to buy armor until, uh... We'll be able to buy armor until we sleep somewhere. Oh wait, now it's like truly nighttime, so I think they're all just asleep anyway. Um... Yeah, that was nice! I was like, holy shit, alright! Quickly, while he's not looking. Let's leave the town! I sure do love me some, some, some monster drops like that. One of my other one of my other favorite uh, DQs is nine, and I love just stealing stuff from all the enemies. And it's like, oh, you dropped some like ore? Give me that. That's mine now. Oh, candy cats, you poor babies. I love Dragon Quest Nine. <laughs> Five minutes, all you just steal everything, steal all the things. Yeah, that attack, that attack increase with the uh, Mabus is noticeable. That sword is a nice upgrade. Yeah, I did an awful lot in DQ9. Let's try to get another, another fight and then we'll go to the end. Well, that was clean. One cycle fight. We take those. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cat. Thank you for some more stuff to sell, to pawn off, even. No idea why that cat has a bandit's grass skirt, but... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's some good money. Ooh, I could I could sell this Wayfarer's clothes and get Mabus some leather armor. Let's hold off on that for for now though. That might be overkill. Considering I got really lucky with that, uh, sword drop. I'm guessing that's probably, it's like 1 in 64 drop, so we got fairly spooned by that, honestly. We'll take that, we'll take that, though. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to afford any of that stuff, so I think we might actually do the, uh... Like, how, how's our herb supply doing? Pretty good, all things considered. So let's find the inn, we'll sleep. Actually, we'll, let's go outside and roughhouse a little bit. What's up, dude? Ah, your traveler's eh? Just like me. 
I was just about to ask travelers where they're going, I'd say. We all have our own personal reasons, after all. Yeah, let's, let's fight a few more battles to get just a bit more money. Then we'll sleep. We'll buy, we'll upgrade to the, um, leather armor for Hero. Oh, look, so scary. Running around in the forest. Scooping up the field. Oh, there's a field mouse! <laughs> Scooping up the field mice and kissing them on the head. You want to give me a leather hat so bad, bunny corn. That's honestly probably enough, but if we can get to like one more fight on the way back to town, that'd be even better. Oh, <laughs> just, just like jump right off a cliff. Oh, I can just run up that. Okay. <laughs> there were slimes hanging out on this cliff. All right, we're probably good to go to, to go sleep and save at this point. Yeah, I, I, I didn't do it awful. I didn't do it completely everything when I streamed DQ9, but I did a lot. It was a good time. If I, if I were ever to stream DQ9 again, I'd probably do like a solo challenge. Where I like use only, I only use other characters to unlock all the other classes and go from there. And use like only one character otherwise. It's, it's definitely doable. Oh yeah, the, the 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 legacy bosses are fun, but intimidating. Oh, six GP, even better. You got or or Orgadamir up to nine nine. Ooh, damn. <laughs> that sounds intense. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? I think I know what that is. What are you doing, stinky little man? I think I know what that fucking is. I just realized I made it nighttime, so all the shops are probably fucking closed. No, they're still open. Perfect. Uh, let's quickly, quickly. Barter. Yeah. yeah, that'd be like a nice upgrade. A bit of a crackpot, a bit of crack pottery, huh? <laughs> We're still gonna have to sell the wayfarers' clothes to get the leather armor, but maybe I'll actually get a wayfarers' clothes for Yangus as well before we like leave, leave to go to the story place. Cause this leather armor should probably hold Mavis for quite a while for armor. Pretty good upgrade, all, all that considered. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just, sometimes you just gotta use your crack pot. Okay, I'm guessing that we can't use it yet. Probably after, probably after we do the, uh... 
I would imagine after we do the waterfall quest. It's a lips! Cat destroyed! Lips kissed! Oh, okay. We shall find out. Yeah, we'll just go to rough house with the enemies a little bit since I made it night time without really thinking too hard about it. Oh, hello, Peppers. If you want to just give me another sword, that'd be great. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Nice little body of water there. Oh, Drackies, lovely. Rude. Oh, you know what? Just for that, I'll let you live till the very end, Mr. Cat. Oh, damn. I wasn't expecting to one-shot the Drakis. We'll take that. Boing, boing. I love how Yangus runs. So it's pretty goofy. Ah, Capsichum, we meet again. I was wondering if Mabas could one-shot the, uh, Pepper. The answer is not yet. But maybe soon. What's our money at? Uh, we need, like... Fi we need, like, uh, I think 52 GP if we're gonna sell the grass skirt and get Yangus the, uh... The, um... Wayfarer is closed, so we just keep let's keep going. Again, if you want to give me like a leather hat or something, money corn, that'd be great. Stingy, stingy ass rat bunny, <laughs> rat bunny. <laughs> Run in circles. Oh boy, here we go. Here's here's some content. On topic, I'm I'm excited for that uh that um treasure hunting game that's coming out in like December, I think. With it with Eric and uh fuck, can't remember her name. Mia? Yeah, Mia. They go on adventures like they always wanted to do. Which I think is pretty cool. Sounds like it sounds like it plays like a freaking uh, uh monsters title, and I'm all for that, because I haven't played like a new one of those in a bajillion years. Like the most recent one of those games I've played is uh, the sequel to the first DQ monster. <laughs> so it's been like a long time. Okay, we have enough money to um, just get and do just like one more battle to get enough money to um, stay at the inn and uh, buy the Wayfarer's clothes. This will probably do just fine.
Oh wow, level up, okay. Makes me think I should probably just level up, just do some more battles until the hero levels up and then go and do all the shopping stuff. Because they can't be that far behind. Ooh, now if we get fights like this. I like how you sap on hero and then just haven't attacked hero at all yet. <laughs> so it's like, oh great. Free turn, I guess. Come on, you knew you want to give me a sword. Ooh, and level up. Nice. Perfect. Perfect timing. Two skill points. Alright. Swords. Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that so soon. I was I was expecting that to be a, like, te like, ten sword skill or something. Let's see if I can, uh... Ah, okay. Well, that's fine. It just means that uh, Mabus will have a little bit more of a punch. Alright. Oh, Min's right here. Perfect. We'll stay at the end, we'll go buy we'll buy that armor. And we'll save, and then we'll actually go to the place where we're supposed to be going. I just figured this kind of like gr grinding montage was a wise idea. <laughs> He's working. He do be working. <laughs> Alright. We are now much more powerful than we were when we first started out on our little adventure. Let's actually make, let's actually make sure Yangus can actually equip the Wayfarer's clothes. Yeah, I mean it's not that much of a boost, but it is in fact a boost. Defenses are pretty balanced, honestly, between the members, so it's not too bad. We're, we're both level 5. You take that. <clears throat> Alright, let's go Let's go get some Jesus. Or, I guess, Goddess, in this case. Because I know DQ9 has, like, the Almighty, who's basically, like, just a traditional Bible figure guy. <laughs> Probably already broke these, but I'll break them again. Can't stop me. What's up, Preach?
All right. An hour, an hour and a half in, and we're finally ready to go to the first dungeon. <laughs> so it goes with Dragon Quest sometimes. I could have been a bit more gung ho and went in with like the base level stuff you start with, and it probably would have been a challenge. But it's probably gonna be a lot more manageable now, which is probably smarter to do anyway. Because not only do we have a bunch of herbs, some levels under our belt, we also have. Uh, An, an upgraded weapon, upgraded armor, and Hero has heal. And Squelch, actually. Now any money that we get can go towards something like a boomerang for... It. Emergencies or something like that, maybe. I don't know, the utility of like the multi hit weapons is usually something I'm quite a fan of. Waterfall or checkpoint. Well, let's go to the waterfall. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're killing this satyr dude because he can do sleep. I ain't about that. Dang, y'all suck. We're too powerful. <laughs> Funny what a few love what a few levels and a little bit of gear can do. Oh, you've hurt me. You've hurt me bad, kitty. <laughs> well, I'm guessing this is the waterfall cave. It looks like a cave and there's waterfalls, so it's a... Uh... Looks like we found it. Not sure I'd love to come in with you, but I couldn't possibly put Medea in danger. I'm sure you'll do a fine job of finding the crystal ball without us, Mavis. We'll be waiting here. You be careful in there. Ooh, strong start. I love the verticality of this place. Who do we got? Oh, these guys and the moles. Probably gonna kill the mole first. Oh well, it's dead. All right. Robot bird. Robot bird. I have a feeling the XP in here is gonna be a lot better than outside. Oh yeah, money too, good. Maybe after we chew through this area we can go buy some new, some even better equipment. Oh, okay. That's convenient. What are you doing down here, dude? Don't you know there's Drackies nearby? Oh, the dancing dudes with the little track pants. <laughs> I like these guys. They're silly.
Yeah, I'm not sure if Yangus can quite uh, can kill the Drakis in one hit yet. Oh, the answer is yes. So, all right, cool. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna have a good amount of money by the time we're done with this. What's up, dude? I came to look at the waterfall and I stumbled upon this cave. Waterfall cave. It's so intriguing. I was trying to explore, but I've gone and got myself completely lost. All right, enjoy. Enjoy being lost, I guess. We got treasure to find. Ooh, Chimera Wing, nice. I think I've, I have I think I already had one, but that's even better. Now I can just get back to town really fast. A medicinal herb, nice. That'll be useful. A lo Ooh, okay, well. Oh, wrong, wrong button. <laughs> wrong button, no, damn it, no. Not, not that button. Not that button. This button. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is better than the bandana. All right, cool. So that was a little. That was that was another upgrade I was gonna think of trying to get from. Well, just an upgrade I was thinking of trying to get. But now I don't have to worry about it because we just got it for free. Mischievous moles. Oh, now you don't want to die in one hit, weirdos. Oh, they can psych themselves up. Interesting. It's not going to do them any good, but interesting. Oh, yeah, the XP here is much better than outside for the most part. Well, that's pretty. Potentially messed up with emulation, but pretty. I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Oh, look at you dodging and shit. Hello, Nakora! Yeah, we're playing Dragon Quest VIII. Let's see, I think that's the way I came from. Yeah, that is. Okay. Any sneaky hidden chests over here? Guess not. Um, how's our stats doing? We're still doing fine. All right, down we go further into cave. Oh, I love these dudes. <laughs> the little, the little drawstring on their little track pants moves. That's fun. That's great. Oh, look at him go. Yep. <laughs> That's why I was trying to kill these guys. Because they can do, they can make you lose a turn with their dance. So if you get unlucky. <laughs> Doo <-doo. laughs> that might have been quiet. The little devil dudes might have been cackling a little loud. So I'm not sure if we we're able to hear that one. Oh, that's not ominous. The smash, a door that's just been smashed through. That's not, you know, alarming. Oh, uh oh. 
Emulator went burr for a second. What is that? <laughs> it's just a dude in, it's a dude in the shoe. Well, I'm gonna have you hit that and I'll have Mavis try to kill one of the moles. Rude. Well, that one definitely needs to die. Oh, dang, that one's thick. It's a thick shoe. You make me want to play the RPG. Well, that's like half the shit I play on this channel. I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Jeez. So Zingas took like most of the damage from that altercation. Oh, well, I guess there's no treasures. Let's see. We got a little hammer hood here. What's up, dude? Well, well, you must be really brave to come up and talk to me like this. A man that looked like a peddler came around earlier, but when he saw me, he ran away without saying a word. Anyway, as you probably realize, you'll have to fight me if you want to go any further. What do you think? Brave enough for that, are you? Yep. R really? You, you are brave. That means you must be a good fighter. I know. Recognition of your bravery, I'm going to let you through. <laughs> Wise move, squ squishy. Off you go. Be careful now. Oh, uh, sh more shoes! God damn it! Why do these shoes do so much damage? You're already faster than us, so that's basically a free turn. Silly shoes. Tricks are for kids. Ooh, a level up. <laughs> Six HP. Ooh, you got an MP. What did you get? Oh, you just sometimes get MP, I guess. Uh, well. Clubs it is. Learns basic club finding techniques. Nice. Now he can do a bit more damage, too, even though we haven't been able to upgrade his club yet. And if, if a battle or two after this one, uh, Mobus will probably level up as well. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, hello, little slime. <laughs> Guess what? This passage is a dead end. Do you believe me? Yay, then I'll tell you something good. It's a dead end, but there's a treasure chest up there. <laughs> I assume there... Yeah, the, the, so far the... There's been some... Uh, there's been some um, mon monster designs from this that I haven't seen before, and they're really good. Like the shoe, that's really good. Spiky fluff ball, shark, sharky teeth, yeah. I've seen these guys before from DQ9, so. Oh, Frizz, that's not fun. We don't like that here. Put that fire right out. Go play Person 5 Royal. <laughs> More MP? Ooh, I like this MP gain. Evac, nice. More skill points. Uh, let's see. Ooh, thanks, Fire Spirit. A file of. A more Seco Essence. I don't know what that is. The best I can offer you is Persona 5 OG. What is this? 
Restore 60 armor HP to a single. Ooh. Well, that's cool. That seems like a pretty rare drop. That's like a, an, an intense overheal at this point in the game. Cause I don't know if Viengus even has 60 HP. Not quite. Uh, ooh, Evac also just costs two. That's pretty nice. I'll have to save two MP specifically for that. Ah, oh, here's that chest we saw earlier. Okay, well that's a copper sword we can sell because we already got one earlier from uh, one of the peppers. Dropped uh, us a copper sword. It's probably their, their rare drop, it sounds like. Oh, more moles. Mole destroyed. Mole destroyed. More money, too. How much? Oh, we're up to 183 coins. Just from roughhousing. Not including the stuff we're gonna sell. Boing, boing. Look at this little guy. Not, not you, Yangus. You're great, but look at this little guy. I love him. I love slimes. They're so good. He's just, he's just have. They're just having a good time. Oh, these are annoying. That's mostly why they're annoying. <laughs> Ow. Stop casting Frizz. <laughs> oh, you're out of MP, aren't you, fucker? Well, that's unfortunate. It's trying so hard, though. It really, really wants to cast Frizz. <laughs> All right, onward. We're now nicely, nicely healed up after beating up some more critters, so we're doing good. Hmm. What does our little sign here say? Waterfall head, no littering. That's okay, I hadn't planned on littering. I'm, I'm not a litter bug. Well, this looks like the lead up to a boss fight if I've ever seen it. Mecha Minas. A giant waterfall underground lake with a with a just a, a crystal ball just hanging out over here. Yeah, that's totally not bait. Oh, all right. Bye. <laughs> I was wondering what that did, and apparently that's... You can make the enemies run away. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, whatever. Um, well, that looks like a crystal ball to me. Oh, yep, yeah, it's an angry merman. 
Surprise! Surprise! Meet Giza. I am the master of this waterfall. They make him have a lisp. Oh, how long is she been? How many people have gone and come? I don't like how they said come. Ten long years <laughs> and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean, the right one to come. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the moment of moose. Does this Bristol call, crystal ball, belong to you? No, but I was sure you were the one. Oh. For long, lonely years. <sighs> Do I have to lie to him? Continues. I guess we have to lie to him. Sorry, fish man. I guess we're gonna lie to you and steal your crystal ball. I guess we're gonna see this again. What? You again? I, Giza. I'm the master of this waterfall, I tell you. Oh, how long has she been? Ten long years and more. Now, have I asked you this before? Yeah, yeah, no, before. Does this Bristol Corp. <laughs> At last. <laughs> At last we fit mace to mace. You half wit <laughs> human. Now I'll teach you a moron. I'll, <laughs> I'll teach you a <laughs> god. You won't forget. He's trying very hard. I can I can respect I can respect that. Um Let's try psyching up. I don't know how like useful it is. I don't know what curse even does. Is it like lose a lose a turn or oh ow, holy shit. That hurt. Oh, Yangus is back. Maybe I'm under leveled somehow, because this guy seems hard. Well, that's no fun. Oh, you're not supposed to be faster than me? That's not good. This could go b poorly. Fucker. I 
I don't know who's faster than who at this point. <laughs> Okay, we won, it looks like. Give him a good bonk with the bonkin' stick. That was a little more difficult than I was expecting, just because he had, seems to do a lot of damage. It's probably the only reason he was slightly difficult, honestly. Ooh, a treasure chest, a seed of strength, okay. Oh, the pain, the pain. Oh, my old wound. Ever since I got this... I've not been right quite. <laughs> and it's all because of you. What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Then you... You're not the true owner of this crystal ball. No! The same. The same. So strong. Strong enough to withstand <laughs> my fierce <laughs> torchin feller. You are no torchin fella. Ah, I know who whose ball this is. Wait, could you be the waterfall rears many humors? You know, I hear that a castle called Trodane has been cursed. That it was run over, overrun by thorns. And that only one person inside survived. He set off on a journey, leading a course and heart with a lone driver. A course and a heart. Hey, that's us. Yep, castle got a little fucked up. guy's goofy but I like him even though he almost beat my beat my ass One last thing. should you meet the true owner of this crystal ball tell him this from me don't throw <clears throat> things in the four water so where they fell oh the pain the ah pain, the pain of my own so the dude, the crystal, the fortune tower threw away the crystal ball in the waterfall and hit this dude in the head. <laughs> well, all right, cool. Thankfully, Dragon Quest has enough sense to give us a, an evac spell really early, so let's just uh, use that and get the fuck out of here. Tales of could never. That's like my one gripe with a lot of the older Tales of games. They, they don't have ways to get in and out of places really fast like that we have a uh, chimera wing we can use we also have this uh, strength seed hmm yeah We're gonna go to the end first in case any shenanigans happen. Let's do some more property damage though. What's up, lady? Bah!
Ah. Still sipping on my coffee. Okay, how much money do we even have? Ooh, we got a decent amount. And we have some stuff we can sell. I'd say it's time that we, um... I mean, I might as well just wait to the next place to get... He can get a better weapon at this point. So let's go ahead and go up and give this crystal ball to uh, Valentina. I saw you, you know, I saw you and young Valentina talking outside town in the middle of the night. So, what were you talking about? Did she ask you for something? Oh, you've already done it for her? Well, that's wonderful. I knew you would return before long. And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. And you are wasting your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. Rude. What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might open up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? Enough. Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Give it to me! This time I will smash it into a million pieces, so it never finds its way back to me again! Stop! Please stop, father. I know. I've known for ages. I know why you threw away your crystal ball. You... you know? So you know about your real parents? Yes. And I don't blame you for their death. Oh, well, that's tragic. Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Because you were just fortune-telling. Just doing what you do best. I was too young to remember, but... You were once a truly great fortune-teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but... To you, it was as clear as day. Back then, there was nothing I could not see. The great Calderasha was known all over the world. I was walking on air. Fortune telling was my life. It was my soul. I thought only of myself. Be they good or bad, I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. I lived for the vision. It's all right, father. You're a good man. You took me in and raised me, didn't you? When I was just a helpless baby. I want to see it for myself. I want to see the great Calderasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, father. Oh, my sweet Valentina. Well, it's a good thing I wasted six gold <laughs> at the end. Ah, foo! Ah, foo! Looks like he's zonked down out for the count. <laughs> Zonkies.
So you are awake at last. It is already past midday. You must have been exhausted. I must thank you and your friend. Look, I have put my crystal ball back where it belongs. Many years have passed since I gazed into the crystal like this. I have to thank you for returning it to me. What, what is this? Yes, yes, I see it, I see it. There is a jester, a jester breaking through the southern checkpoint. Yes, the mists are clearing. And the same jester murdered Master Rylos. Yes, yes, the mists are clearing. <gasps> Can it be? Surely not. He has changed, but there can be no mistake. It has to be Master Rylos's former pupil, Dulmagos. Uh, what? <laughs> Gov, he said Dulmagos, right? That's our man. Gov, the evil magician. You and the old granddad are after, isn't it? So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? What else? Let me look deeper. Huh? What's this? Yes, no question. This is definitely my old crystal ball, but look here. It has been chipped. Huh. It must have hit something very hard to do this damage. <laughs> and look, someone has scratched some letters next to the chip. What? Half-wit? Who's the half-wit? What ignorant lowlife would do this to my crystal ball? You what? When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean <laughs> someone's <the> skull. <laughs> Whatever. I'll come and gov. <laughs> Now my crystal ball learns the mysterious circumstances surrounding his death. It was Dulmagus who murdered him. So he is. Perhaps he has other motives. But through the mist, I see that Dulmagus breached the checkpoint as he moves south. There's a village there. Oh, Gov. Oh, Gov. Wait up, Gov. <laughs> Kadrash has had more than his fair share of pain, but he's done a fine job of raising young Valentina. It's high time we put it all behind him. Or he put it all behind him. Not we, they're not gonna do anything to help him. Okay, um... Let's go drop a save, and we'll continue. We'll, we'll save our money till the next town or whatever. Yeah, that, that, um, that, that merman character hit hard, so I'm wondering if the, maybe there was some better armor I could have had, or maybe just, maybe just not, maybe it was just hard hitting dude. So let's take a look-see. Just out of curiosity, at the armor store, because maybe there was better armor I could have bought or had. No, there's not. We were as we were as geared up as we could have been, and that dude was still just po potentially one or two, two shotting either of our characters. <laughs> I love that. Not really, but he 
He's Naruto running! <laughs> so, what happened? Did you do what the young girl asked? Hmm? Well? What? Domegus killed Master Rylus? The same Domegus we're looking for? That fiend killed his own teacher? And you say he headed south? Then there's no time to lose. We must go after him at once. Let's be on our way. Easy for you to say, Granddad. Uh-oh. Oh, we got the whole motley crew of people here. Me too, kitty. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry, kitty. <laughs> That's what you get for claw clawing me, I guess. Just get a cri critical hit in the mouth. Hello, welcome back. Um, oh, I, we might have missed a turn somewhere. Uh, oh, gotcha. I never left. You're just trying to scare me. Tis the season. Oh, nice. Vampire survivors. I've, I've, I've heard and seen people talking about that. Oh, here's the kitty, ne Necky. See? Here is Kitty. Oh, yeah, I totally understand with games like that, like, it just scratches a specific brain itch. Somewhere deep in your, like, withered pudding brain, like my pudding brain, it just finds just the right spot. I totally understand. Right? Yep, yep, yep. Ying gets leveled up to seven. Nice. <clears throat> Four strength. We like that. All right, more skill points. Which means soon Hero will be seven as well. Because they seem to level up fairly close to each other, but like not like exactly at the same time. Lips. Oh God, sorry. No, sorry, not sorry, Candy Cat. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there's other reasons, possibly, for that. I appreciate the sentiment, but I'm sure there's other reasons, perhaps. Ooh, ooh, capsicums. Dead. Dead. Hello, pompous bastard. How are you? Yep, we're, we're playing it today. <laughs> I think we actually had a, a, a discussion on Twitter about uh, Dragon Quest. Eight. 
Oh, you were, you were mentioning Dragon Quest. It's like, yeah, I need to get around to playing that. And well, here, here we are. We just finished with the Waterfall Cave uh, quest line. Such secrets. <laughs> so now we're heading uh, to a village, I think. Ah, here's that checkpoint, I would imagine. It looks, looks a little fucked up. Kill the furry. Furry destroyed. Yeah, Geyser is pretty good. Or, ge or gaze or what? However the fucker said said their name. They had a lisp and they just didn't really understand how words worked. Good morning, Hachiko. How are you doing today, friend? Oh, oh, it's the dude in the shoe. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, Twitter like ate my go live that I was trying to make this morning. Like, I posted it, and then it's like, oh, you already posted that, but I didn't see it anywhere, so I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> got the little shoe dude, and you got Drac Mages. We're gonna kill the shoe, because they can slow me down with a slow spell. Oh, fuck you, shoe. Ooh, those do five, that's concerning. The, the enemies have gotten harder already. I think it's like geezer. Yeah, I think it might be like that. Oh, destroyed. Uh oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to be cautious of these guys. I'll have to actually use healing stuff. Granted, I also didn't upgrade Yangus's weapon at all. Because he already just does decent enough. 5 HP, 4 MP. Nice. Two skill points. More swords! Dragon Slash. Nice. Ooh, good money. Right, did I might have been overreacting to the whole enemies are like strong thing. Well, I see something over here. That looks like it could be the village, so let's go there. Bodkin archers. Okay, let's let's take them out. Yeah, we're gonna need to get some armor. Cause these little guys just do just enough damage to be a problem. Yeah, I I just I figured the 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 I figured the PS2 version was decent enough since PS2 emulates pretty good over overall. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the game with Yoda's creepy uncle. Hello, Daft Uh Wooly. Daft Wooly, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> ah, that's I I see. I don't really mind random encounters much, but yeah, I like the the overworld stuff. Overworld enemies is a nice 
thing to have as well. Like, I... Considering I just finished playing Tales of Legendia last Tuesday, which has nothing but random encounters, it's not the end of the world, really, for me. Which, is, which was also a PS2 game, so that's also why I'm doing the PS2 version of this. <laughs> nice looking village. Oh, it's a kid! Halt! Who goes there? Oh, children! That's this is terrifying. Don't waste your breath, scoundrels! I can spot bandits a mile off. This is for Alistair. Come on, Mash! Let's get him! Tales of Legendia was nice. I liked it. <laughs> Keep the children away from me. <laughs> I, I enjoyed Legendia. It was definitely an older Tales game. It, it had its parts where it was it showed its age, but there's also parts of it that were ahead of its time. So it was kind of fun. It was, I had a good time with it. Yes, sir, bangers. Bang bangers. Oh, we have to kill children. Okay. A bangers and <laughs> okay. Well, let's kill Mash because bangers is just such a good name. Oh, come on. <laughs> kill. <laughs> yeah, but bi bi bio warfare on legs. Yeah. That's no way to welcome travelers. <laughs> Monk. <laughs> Didn't Miss Jessica ask you to run an errand for her? And here you are playing around. Uh, I forgot. <sighs> wife is a teacher you live in. Con yeah, I can imagine. Especially with COVID and people, parents being like, oh, kids don't get COVID. Kids proceed to get like every kind of COVID imaginable. <laughs> you better run along before Jessica finds out. Yikes! I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. <clears throat> Everybody knows somebody that works with it's just stinky that children. It's been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. Thankfully, I, I don't work with kids just because I work at a hospital and I don't work I don't work directly with patients really either so that's There's nice too wrong with the place mind it's a lovely village really make <clears throat> yourselves at home thanks grandma all right well it's sleepy time. It looks like, so we're not going to be able to buy any items just yet. Nice little lake they got here. What's up? Master Alistair came back, came from an important family, but he never lorded it over us. He always guarded the village for us, you know. So what you do, hanging out in the pharmacy getting high? I mean, that would be awesome, but unfortunately I help keep... I help, I do IT stuff. <laughs> what a terrible waste. A lovely boy like him being killed like that. What's this world coming to? Oh, there is a well. Time to climb it. <laughs> he just jumps right in. I like that. Any goodies? Oh, this is a boring well. Fine. HIPAA sucks. Like I'll be, I'll be like, I'll be like on the phone with like a person like remotely accessing their computer to help them fix stuff, and they'll just have like patient stuff up. I'm like, oh nope, don't cover my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's close enough. I I understand what you're saying, so that's what matters. Ah, oh, hello again. Sorry for those little rascals. No doubt you've heard of the Albert family. They live in the mansion on top of the hill. 
R Lady Rosalind and Miss Jessica have been shut themselves away inside ever since Alistair's death. The poor lambs. Night's upon us now, but you could go and have a look in the morning if you're interested. Okay, where's an inn? This whole town is just doing a honk shoe right now. Honk shoe, honk shoe. There's, uh, that's, this is our, our the, the, me the town's, the, the village's mega church. Is this America? <laughs> Where, like, you have, like, a small, like, Midwest town and then just, like, a mega church. <laughs> that they, that the freaking local con artists got the populace to fund with their money. <laughs> it's a quarterly journal called King of Adventure. Newsflash! You can get different information from the same people depending on whether it's day or night. It's like a town has two faces. Remember, the things you hear may not sound particularly important at first, but you never know what may come in handy later on. That's nice. Uh, anyone in? <laughs> this dude's zonked the fuck out. <laughs> Probably like the least flattering way I could have said that, but that's okay. Miss Jessica was always following her brother around, even when she was really small. She can seem a bit of a tough nut at times, but deep down she's actually quite timid. Welcome to our inn. Eight coins? Nice. Pretty good value for the money you get in the area, it seems. Alright. Let's go see what the uh, local store has. Oh wow, maybe they're the ones that bought the mega church. <laughs> Hello, nun. Master Alistair's father passed away, so although he still was was still young, he was the head of the Albert household. I just can't believe this has happened. I dread to think how his poor mother and sister, Jessica, must be feeling. Must be hitting Miss Jessica particularly hard. The pair of them were always inseparable. Master Osir came from an important family, but he never lorded it over us. Okay, we already talked to you. Sorry. Alright, here. Did you know that mechanical monsters don't have no hearts? So they never run away in a fight, no matter how hard you try and scare them. And those zombie jobs are a bit slow on uptake, so they're not easy ones to scare either. <laughs> I must hit I must hit Miss Jessica especially hard. Yeah, smack the shit out of her. Okay, this place does have an ar uh, armor shop. Well, that's, that's what I'm more interested in right now than otherwise. Oh, that's gonna cost some money. Let's see, five boosts for 220. Or a three boost for 180 that I can get for both people. Hmm. Three boost for both people as opposed to like, that's like a, a six boost for one. But actually, I could probably buy the leather kilt and a shield, or I could buy. Hmm. So that's a plus five boost for Yangus, so we probably should get that first. Yeah, we'll get that first. We'll buy, we'll buy uh, that one. And then we'll sell the, the, the um, old equipment. But scale is 33. You are absolutely right, but if I bought if I would have bought the scale, I would only be able to buy one piece of armor for one person. But this way both of them are a, a little stronger against the enemies outside. And the GP it looks like the GP gain outside's far better than it was at the last place we were at, so it's probably fine to uh, do that and then buy upgrades from there. Those little archer dudes were hitting like four constantly and there's like so many of them too and I guess we could probably do more story stuff until it makes us leave town no reason not to 
I don't know, you probably could have very fair, very well have gotten away with doing the scale stuff as well, and it probably really wouldn't have made much of a difference, but... Welcome to the Albert family residence. They get their own soldier, dude. There was never any need for a guard here in the past. I was hired just after Master Elster died, so I'm still quite new here, really. That doesn't mean I'll be putting up with any shenanigans, though. Make sure you behave inside the mansion here. Oh, yeah, I totally won't be throwing any vases I find. Immediately. No, not totally not. Where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? Oh, there's a dresser. We can steal things from here. <laughs> Bookshelf? Can I activate this bookshelf? No. Alright, let's see. Here's the kitchen! Yes, that's what I was looking for. This thing's almost bigger than you! <laughs> we got some cheese. There's a secret to the t to the door of the Eastern Tower. Only people from our village know how to open it. Master Esther found it open one day. That's why he went inside to find out what was going on. And then someone or something attacked him and... Oh, it's so unfair. I saw them and you know, Miss Jessica and her poor mother arguing like cats and dogs. What were they arguing about? I don't rightly know. Something about revenge, that's all I could gather. Well, let's see if we can find more shit to steal. I mean, um, to be honest, I never really liked Miss Jessica all that much. Uh, don't tell anyone I said so, though. It's just, she's never very friendly to us house staff, and she's always arguing with her poor mother as well. But they do sympathize with her now. I mean, her only true friend in the world is her brother, and now she's all alone. Yeah, that tends to make people a little bitter. But remember, treat, wait, treat your wait staff well, because they're just people doing their job. Oh, are you travelers? What a life that must be. I wish I could leave it all behind and go off myself. Oh dear, listen to me. If the mistress heard me, I'd be out of my ear. Out of my ear. Then I have no choice but to travel. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry about before, but not sorry enough to let you through here. I'm gonna order C, just because she doesn't want to see anyone, so I can't let people through. Fair enough. Books! It appears to be a book about the history of the Albert family. The history of the Albert family begins with Alexander Cranbartle, a gifted sculptor, skilled swordsman, and capable magician. Alex was a truly unique individual who left his mark on history in a variety of ways. Fully deserving his reputation as a great sage, his descendants reap the benefits of a prestigious and noble bloodline. And they would do well to, to remember that they have the responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. Blood is thicker than water, whatever. What we got? Cheeses of the world. Ooh. The world in which we live in is blessed with an astonishing variety of cheeses. Some of them have even more astonishing effects. Spicy cheeses that will have you spitting fire. Cold cheeses that refresh as they chill. And it goes out saying that all tastes simply wonderful. Cheese is tasty. Cheese is healthy. Cheese makes everything better. Cheese makes the world go round. Was that written by, like, the dairy lobby? The story of the Albert... Right? They, they just decided to... Yeah, it's like, hmm. I've merely adopted the Albert name. Oh, please. Albert was my father. Lorenzo! Gay. Not only am I the son of the Chancellor to a larger prestigious kingdom, but I'm also the lovely disgust fiance. Yes, that's me! She lost her brother recently, so I came here today to comfort her. But I seem to be faced with an unexpected obstacle to our love. There are some brats in front of her room who won't let me in. Ah, the sea of true love is strewn with the floatsome of despair. Push our crest the waves of adversity and find a harbor in my lady's bosom. Well, you don't sound creepy. 
You also look like a you also look like a clown, so yeah, I don't trust you. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rosalind Albert. Sadly, my family is currently in mourning. No one is permitted to set foot outside the house. I'm afraid that my daughter is less than happy about the arrangement and has confined herself to her room. She's even asked those boys to stand guard at her door. I'm sure I don't know what's gotten to her. Uh, well, let's, um... Keep walking around and stealing things! Oh, hey, some more for clothes we can sell. <clears throat> oh, look out! <clears throat> it isn't safe here. What? Just look, there's a mouse. I hate mice. Why do I have to deal with it? Oh. Oh no! Look out! Please be hetero. <laughs> Fair enough. The straights can have that one. See? See? Did you see it? Just now? Oh, what am I going to do? Jessica's room is on the other side of that wall. Oh dear. How dramatic. A scene of magic. Okay. Destroying all of their supplies up in the attic here. I'm just like, mm, that's a that's sad. That's real sad. Ooh, moment rolled. Nice. I am so heartbroken about the mouse and Jessica and what was his name? Uh, Alistair. There's a hole in the wall. It's just large enough for a mouse to fit through. Send Munchie through the hole. Munchie time. Go. Munchie time, munchie time. Oh my god, we're munchie! Munchie, 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 munchie. It's Hamtaro time! Oh, we can roll, that's so cute! We're just doing little somersaults. I'm guessing this is how we, like, leave. That's okay. Well, good job, Munchie. We'll send you back through, because I, fig I figured that was, like, the exit hole, but we'll go back in. We'll continue the Hamtaro mission. What a little lad. Sonic Speed! Uh, is there anything over here I could steal? Uh, so are we, are we in her room or is this like just somewhere in the wall? I th I'm guessing this is like her room. She's got like a bunch of garbage in her like upstairs part of her room. Is this a panty raid? I hope it's not a panty raid, because that'd be weird. Why, why are we sending a mouse through the wall to, to like, bother people? Oh, there's a, there's a note! Let's steal that. Why walk when you can roll? Exactly. She's not even in here. Ah. She went to go get revenge, didn't she? Why walk when you can ride? This sick ass hamster. Well, let's let's get on the broom. I want to see if I can talk to the other mouse, cause I mean, like I can, but it doesn't. It's it doesn't understand me. Maybe I'm not a mouse. Whatever.
Dear Diary. My boyfriend's a fuck. I was, I was wondering how much he was going to get up. And the answer is the railing. That's, that's actually really cute. <laughs> No. Well, we 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 obtained the letter. It's probably gonna tell us where to go, which is gonna make us leave town, and we can grind some levels and XP outside with our newfound armor. I don't know I who will find this letter, but please consider it my last will and testament. For by the time you read this, I will already be gone. I am going to the tower in the east. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Mother, I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation. But this is about something far bigger than tradition. Yeah. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me. And to Bangers and Mash, I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you'll forgive me as well. Oh, bangers and mash. <clears throat> All right, off we go. <clears throat> is, is this a lot? Oh. Yep, <laughs> it sure is. All right, so now, tower to the east. If you say so. The heir of the Great Albert family, Alistair, was murdered over in the Eastern Tower. I reckon it was the doing of some thief in there after the Statue of Alexandra. The Statue of Alexandra. Hello there, welcome to Alexandria. Oh. So is it Alexandra or Alexandria? Whoopsies. I wonder if that's the tower to the east. Let's do some fighting though. Hammer hoods! Uh oh, these are tough. And they do a lot of damage already. <laughs> it failed. Oh, wow. Those guys give a lot more XP than most of the stuff we fought previously. Um, how's our health look? Eh, it's fine. Yeah, we're just with the enemies out here to kind of tan my hide like this. I should probably fight for a little bit longer. So we'll just kind of run around in circles. Around, we'll just run on this rock. Oh, these fuckers again! You are correct. Uh, although, at this point, I might end up starting to save up for a weapon for Yangus because he still has the same weapon that he had in the beginning. Oh, 
Oh, there might be some stuff I can sell, because I think I got a copper sword from the last dungeon that I just didn't sell. But leveling is a, probably just a good idea in general. Like, let's look. It's partially, probably, it's partially that, but it's also just the fact that Yangus has, still has this to begin with. I did get a copper sword as a drop from one of the peppers earlier. Yeah, see, we got, like, some stuff we can sell already. We also have a, a, a seat of magic, though. Normal everyday cheese. Do I have to use that? Is, does that munchie use that to heal? Does munchie fight? <laughs> maybe. Maybe munchie fights. I have no idea. I've interacted very little with this game. Previously. The last time I interacted with this game, it was years and years ago. So, like... <clears throat> I I know that I know the alchemy pot is in this game because I've already seen the 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 king dude hammering away on it, and I've played I've played GQ nine and eleven, so I know the alchemy pot is in this game. So don't worry about spoiling that part at the very least. I just need the money bad right now, so <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna try to sell some like we can almost even afford a giant mallet, which would be a nice upgrade. But there's probably a oh a stone axe. I'm already doing mal I'm already doing hammers for Yangus though, so we'll probably uh just keep going with hammers. I will keep this uh bandana because I haven't seen it sold anywhere. I do like boomerang. Kind of want to sell that, but I also kind of want to keep it in case we need it for heals. Hmm. You know? It's tempting to get the boomerang first, because that'll let me get more money more easily, because I can hit all the enemies. But maybe... Hmm. We'll do it in the opposite way. We'll get the mallet first, because that'll be a nice boost for Yangus. And then we'll save up for the boomerang. Or maybe we'll just not deal with the boomerang quite yet, because money. <laughs> Unfortunately. Alright, more clobbering. I probably could have stayed at the end, but whatever. Alright, more clobbering. I don't really dare going too far away from town right now, because the enemies can still do decent damage to us. Oh, come on. That's a little better. That might make some more of these enemies two hits as opposed to three. Oh, it's still probably going to be a three hit because he got buff, but... What can you do? Oh, no. Sucks to suck. But yeah, I think part of the problem is just a uh, lack of XP. Like I probably, I probably, I was likely meant to fight the uh, the, the last boss at like level eight or nine or something like that, and I was like level six. <laughs> and he was like, he was pretty close to like two hitting uh, hero most of the time, most of that fight. So I don't know. It's possible that my my XP is lacking, and probably item 
item lacking and just oh hello fencing fox we're gonna kill you immediately I don't know what you do but you're probably doing annoying things you're also fast It's, it's Fast Fox, as opposed to Fire Fox. Nine is good. Nine, you make you basically make your own party, kind of like uh, Dragon Quest Three. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I can highly recommend playing 9 if you can either find it on cart or if you can emulate it, which is pretty easy to emu emulate. There we go. There's a, there's a level up. 4 HP. 4 strength. 5 skill points. Yes, please. He becomes a little slugger. Learns Heartbreaker. Ah, so now you can possibly uh, fear enemies with wall attacking. That's pretty useful, honestly. I'll probably be doing that a lot <laughs> now that I think about it. Money. Oh, we're already back up to 200 something monies now. Oh, it's a fungal! I love these guys! I mean, I'm a plant. I, you would expect me to love all the plants, but like, I love these goofy fuckers. They're like in like, they're in very many, if not all, of the Dragon Quests I've played. <laughs> We're gonna kill it first though, because I might have some like, sleep attack. Rude. Hurry! <laughs> Furry destroyed. Level up. 3 HP, 3 MP. Pretty decent level up. No resilience, which sucks, but whatever. And then we'll... Uh... Tw 12 that soon would be awesome. Honestly. Where did that fox get such fancy clothes? From the fox close, from the from the furry clothes store. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> it is ni it is nice that hero got healed so soon, so that we can just not spend any item money on uh, healing items, and then heal up all of our MP at the end, and just get a bunch of money. I have no idea what the fox say. It's so no idea. That's fair. Oh, I think we're fa faster than these guys now, so that should make the grinding a little easier. Uh, not quite faster. It seems like a, maybe a speed tie for the Angus, at least. I think, th I think the next thing we're gonna buy is the uh, scale armor, because that just seems like a good idea. Oh, these fuckers. Clobber them. Ooh, one shot. Impressive. Where you going, sheep? 
technically it's probably a ram rather than a sheep, because there's a slight difference between, um, cis-normative society is like, oh, hey, um, <laughs> yeah, oh, foxes, we're gonna crash this furry con. Oh, never mind, we missed. Rude. Twenty damage, god damn you, I guess. All right, cool. Fencing Foxy is quick, quick attack. Archer destroyed. Oh, hello. What do you get? What do you give me? Wayfarer. Hey, there's just a little bit of extra. I guess that's what they're wearing. All right. Well, let's fight some more. Oh. We're just pressing buttons while I'm running around because what else am I going to do? Ah, <clears throat> uh, just barely. Whatever. They'll, they, will per they will perish next turn. I love Drakis, yeah. Drakis are 100% friends. Even when they bite, they're just trying to give you a kiss with their mouth and their teeth. <laughs> Money we're at now. Oh, we can afford the we can afford the scale armor. Let's go got, get that. <clears throat> Preferably, it turns nighttime and then we get the scale armor and then we'll fight stuff that's outside at night if that's how it works. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what we got. And there might be stuff I haven't even seen. Oh, this is also an item shop. Okay, I was like, I was wondering. I didn't see an item shop, but yeah, this one has all, also has oibs. Alright, so that's going to be a nice boost. And then next we'll get a scale uh, shield for uh, old uh, Yangus there. Oh, well, I meant to sell, but my brain wasn't exactly working correctly. <laughs> Oh, that gets a bit of, our, of money back as well. A bit more than I expected. Well, that puts us pretty close to um, getting Yangus' shield. And I believe that'll be about as good as armor as we can get in this town. So let's rough house a little bit more until we need to, probably until we run out of uh, MP for heals. And then we'll use the end and see if we can buy anything else and go from there. Yeah, it's a lot less damage now. Mushroom stamp. Well, 
Now, if I really wanted to be extra, I could try to save up for the uh, boomerang. So I could I could have the boomerang and a sword. So if there's a lot of enemies, I could switch the boomerang and do uh, multi hits that way. But that seems like it would cost a lot of money. And yeah, we're. Uh oh. I probably should have healed after the last fight. We'll probably be fine. Probably, maybe. If the, if the fox could leave me alone. That's why I should have targeted them. Okay, we both dodged it, so. Fungal needs a fucking mouth mint. Our gold looking. Ah, oh, the, the money, get, the gold gain out around here is actually pretty good. Honestly, oh, I'm thinking now it's nighttime, so we went. Oh, what the hell are you, Beetle? Or Beetle Boys? <laughs> That's a great name. I love that. I haven't seen these guys before. <clears throat> Beetle Boy destroyed. Wow. Eh, probably not as great as some of the other enemies, but. Those Beetle Boys seem fine. As long as I watch my HP, the night enemies should be manageable. We'll stay closer to the town just in case. Oh no, it's a fungal! <laughs> just smack him once in the face, he's just dead. I'm just surprised I hadn't seen the Beetle Boys sooner because, well, that was the first time seeing them. And they don't seem like they're much harder than the rest of the stuff. Oh well, that's gonna be a waste a slightly waste to turn. At least that's dead. It has Kasap, so that would have been annoying. Oh, that uses MP that Yangus just doesn't have much of. You know what? Fuck it, whatever. <clears throat> oh. Well. Alright, that works too, I guess. <laughs> Didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, but... So goes. Uh... So far, I haven't really seen anything too scary out here, but... I'm gonna say that, and then something's gonna spawn that's gonna kick my ass. Famous last words. Oh, it's not so bad! Oh! Well, that's a big enemy group.
Let's uh, make sure that these Drakis die first, unfortunately. They're friends, but they're dangerous friends. That's why they're dangerous friends. Oh no, that's bad. Um... Let's try to run, I guess. Oh, although, it might not matter. Well, I guess we're awake now. Yeah, those Drakis are those those Kasaps are nasty. Uh oh. Okay, Yangus will survive. That was a little risky, but we're also those like, those Kasaps were were bad news. Oh, you shitter! This is not- we're not out of the woods yet! <laughs> These beetle boys are fucking me up with their freaking horn attacks or whatever. We should be able to- Oi! I think that was a, a big case of... The, um... <laughs> Those Drakis are just bad news. I don't care if it's a waste of money, we're gonna use an herb to make sure we can get back into town safely. I'd, I'd, I would much rather use an herb than wipe. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need to sleep anyway. Yeah, the fungal putting everyone to sleep was pretty bad, but like those those the Drake used Kasap and then it took made all the damage those everything did go up by like one or two points, which with how much low of HP we have at this point, it's significant. To me. They're both they're both bad news, and th that battle had both of them actually, so that was probably one of the worst encounters we could have gotten. <laughs> yeah, sleep can be pretty, pretty nasty to deal with. For sure. You slow, just watch in agony as they just mushroom stamp your, you stamp you to death. <laughs> Let's look at the weapon shop again real quick before we buy anything else. Okay, yeah, it just has a stone axe, which Yang just can't equip, and it is stronger than this mallet. But we're not spe we're not specced into hammers right now, so we're not gonna worry about it. Buy some herbs too while we're at it. Anything we need to sell there? Nope, we got the armor. We got all the armor upgrades we could possibly get here. And we, we're, the, only, the only other thing we could do is um, get a boomerang, which 
Honestly, it might not be a bad idea if there's gonna be more encounters like that, because, shoo, that was. That was rough. There we go. We'll save after getting all that stuff. Because it would be a shame if I don't save, go out in town, go out of town, somehow get into a bad encounter like that again and die and just lose all of this stuff. Granted, I think I think you would probably like revive here with like 1 HP with uh, Mobis or whatever, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm looking at, uh, cord massages. Okay. And we will continue. Now we're all defensed up. You know what, I think I will, um, try to per try to save up enough money to buy the, um, boomerang. We need, like, another 360 uh, gold, give or take. Unless we get some item drops, it's gonna all just be from grinding, which... We need to do anyway, so we'll just go fight some more critters. And then after we get the boomerang, we will, um... Then try to see if we can go to the one place. I gotta, I got like 40 more minutes or so that I can stream for. So... I know it's, it shouldn't take that long to get the boomerang, I wouldn't imagine. Sometimes Zangix can just like one shot these little dudes, and if we get some more XP, then it'll be even better. Oh, fungals! Mushroom tip. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Genghis levels up. Nice. More HP, some more MP. More strength. Resilience, that's actually pretty nice. Five skill points. Alright, more hammers. I have no I have no idea what what proper skill point strategy in this game is, so I'm just dumping it into whatever weapon we're using the most of. Like, I'm sure there's like a whole meta behind what's like the best way to spend your points, but right now I don't care. Oh, there's the shoe! Let's kill the shoe! It's not like we'd be outrunning these guys anyway. Shoe destroyed. <laughs> now Mavis levels up. Seven HP, okay. That's actually really nice. That's a good level up. Sweet. Yeah, we definitely just need this XP in general, too. So I'm not really that heartbroken that we're, that we're grinding for money, because we'll just get XP 
from it while we're at it. Uh, HP's a little shaky actually on the uh, the mobbus front. Come on, random encounters. Oh. Perish. <laughs> So how is everyone else doing today? Doing anything fun? I'm just kind of killing monsters, so there's not much else to really do other than chat with y'all, which I quite like. Anyway, but, you know. Kind of run around over here a little bit. Oh, Drac Mages. Chomp. Chomp. Ooh, we can, if we can one-shot more of these guys, that'd be great. Not too bad. Just gonna run in, this, <laughs> run in a circle like this. Okay, that might make someone motion sick. Let's not do that. <laughs> Hammerheads, huh? All right. Well, let's 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 clobber them. Not so tough anymore, are ya? Oh God! Well, well, that battle's done. Purchasing cover for Hato's cage. Need more darkness at night for my sleep. Also, fake eggs because he's courting his GF plush and she hasn't laid eggs yet. Makes him confused. <laughs> oh, birds. Never change, birds. So if, you, so if you get some fake eggs, Hato will think that he's a real father. Yeah, no more of that fungal. I would like some more battles like that though, because they're pretty good for XP. And money, which is the whole point of what us doing this grind in general. We're actually getting pretty up there in the gold. Won't be too much longer before we can get that boomerang and be on our way. Ooh, Drac Mages. By themselves, they're not very ferocious. Oh, come on, really? Whatever. Oh, shit, alright. Dead. I'll summon a laser thingy to kill my fur once and for all. We got an armpit hair. Kind of expensive, but probably less than Cena. Yeah, I can imagine a professional laser hair removal thing is a little pricey of a thing. And we're fine for another battle. They didn't do that much damage. Alright, come on, monsters. Come on out. 
Oh, hey, we found these guys during the day. Wasn't sure if they were a night only spawn or not. Dang, Angus. Thick. To contact the Psy I saw three years ago. He wrote a letter for hormonotherapy. Fool, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Bubo away. Eh? Yeah, I can imagine um, that um, hormones don't exactly make your Bubo go away if that's what you're after. Okay, 120 more gold and we'll be able to buy the uh, the boomerang and be on our way. Hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll also get to level 10. I'll feel a little bit more comfortable doing stuff at that point there. Ah, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That the letter wasn't enough or whatever. Hmm, nah, we're still fine. Unless we get into another big battle, like with those like Drac mages and stuff like that, again we'll be fine. What if whatever's coming at us next? Rude. Yeah, that, that, meh. Nah. I fucking hate doctors. <laughs> if you're a doctor, I wish nothing but apples upon you. <laughs> so you stay away. <laughs> Oh, we got some shoes here. Shoes don't scare me. Good job. Shoe destroyed. Uh, hit points. A little lower than I'd prefer. And while Rairo will just heal Yingus too. I am chasing you, sheep! Nice. What? Wow. 
perfect. Well, I'm, I'm glad the I'm glad the neighbors have been nice about stuff. I remember they were giving you uh, some grief with their loud music and stuff. We're almost there. I was pretty certain that Yingus was going to be able to one-shot the uh, fungal, but oh well. Doesn't matter. They're dead this turn anyway. I can imagine the uh, encounters would be faster with monsters being on the overworld like in the 3DS version. Kind of a shame that they... The Dragon Quest IX does have uh, monsters in the overworld, though, so that's probably why they, on the 3DS version, they added it to the ga this game. Yep. How close are we? Just over. Perfect. Minecraft looks different today. You're right, Birdie. That's because Minecraft is on Saturdays now. <laughs> this is Dragon Quest VIII. Not exactly Minecraft. <laughs> My I know, Minecraft Monday. It's, it feels good, but... Doing it on weekends lets me stream like seven plus hours of Minecraft, and with how grindy it's getting, I kind of need it. <laughs> Welcome to our inn. We st you know, it's sleepy time. I mean, I still have I still have Tales Tuesday. That's not changing anytime soon. So. <laughs> or Tales of Tuesday, if you prefer. But I hope you're doing well today, Birdie. It's always good. It's always I always appreciate when you stop in. Let's see. I think we we're gonna buy a boomerang. Yes. It costs 420. It's one point better in attack than the sword that we have, and it attacks multiple enemies. So for. Like until we level up and uh, until until we level up and the sword gets more attack power over the boomerang, we'll likely just use the boomerang for everything. All right, well, I should probably save since we did all that grinding to get this this boomerang. That would be a, a shame to have it go to waste if I wipe or whatever. Yeah, I got like 23 minutes. I'm gonna risk it and go try to go to the dungeon place and see if what's going on with Miss Jessica. Off we go to the tower to the east. We'll see if there's like a dungeon there or if it's just a story trigger or what the deal is. No idea, but we'll find out in short time. No more detours to grind up money or anything like that. Uh-oh, Drac Mages. Oh, don't start like this. Okay, good, they missed. Dead. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's way better. Jeez. 
Jesus! <laughs> All right, wow. Maybe I should have just went through the boomerang and maybe I should have went through the boomerang instead of the sword because that's busted. <laughs> then again, I I'm, I'm suspecting at some point I'm gonna want to have the hero have swords. You know, because. Oh, I guess this is our funny little tower. Oh, Drac Mages. Dodgy little freaks. Okay, looks like this is probably an actual proper dungeon. There's a frog! <laughs> Destroy the frog! Oh god! Kill it! <laughs> it's got a demon face on its back! It's kinda badass. Yeah, that boomerang was a good idea. Drac Mage gives us a, chim a Chimera Wing. Nice. Now we don't gotta buy one. I don't think there's anything back here, so. Just keep running. Probably not back there either, so let's just go in the tower. Oh, great. It's not gonna let us in, is it? door doesn't budge. It seems to be locked. Guess we got, probably gotta go this way then. Ah, oh, bubble slimes. They're looking extra gooey right now. Extra dead. <laughs> Yengus got to level 10. Nice. 8 HP, 4 strength, 6 skill points. He becomes a heavy hitter. He has learned Penny Pincher. Well, I guess we can try that. Get some, maybe get a little bit more money. Um, well, maybe we do have to go the around the back, and I just didn't go far enough. There's a path leaving there, so I'm guessing there's like some way to get out after. Maybe I don't know. Oh uh, well, let's see. Penny Pincher, go! Got no idea if that worked or not. I guess we'll see after the fight. <laughs> I don't know if that was... I think that might have just been the base money. We probably just didn't get any money from the uh, drop. Um. Well, I figured there was like some way to go get in back here, but maybe not. Screech, yep. Yeah. Maybe I'll try Penny Pincher. Hey, that's okay. What if you have a really strong laser pointer and juice it up? Hey, that's okay. Phone calls happen. I don't rem I don't know if we need to do something special to get into this tower because it looks like it's locked. Oh, is there a side entrance right here? No, that's that's the wall. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to, if you t if you were to tell me like how I get into this tower so, that, so I don't have to look it up because I'm a, I'm a little s short on time to be looking it up. 
Admittedly. We got the boomerang though. It would have made all that grinding we did for the boomerang a lot faster because this thing's busted. Level 10. 7 HP, 3 MP, 3 strength. Ah, yeah, that's, tr that's true. Hmm. Yeah, let's put some skills in Boomerang. Okay, it didn't do anything, so I probably wasted those skill points, but whatever. Hmm. Well, I guess that's a good enough reason for us to go back to the village and talk to him, or talk to everyone. That way we'll be in the village when I need to end the stream anyway, so we'll just do that. Bezos or eBay? Yep. God, that's so good. That would have saved me a lot of trouble with some of those harder fights like that one at night that almost killed us. <laughs> that's okay, we now have the power of the boomerang. Oh look, it's Tato. <laughs> oh no! First strike! You dodged, idiot! Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go. I'll just start to talking to like everyone. Also, how much money do we have? Oh, we got a bit more money from our little adventure. There's nothing else we can really buy to improve our stats, so I guess it's just. Welcome to Alexandria, Domegas. Hmm, sorry, I never heard of him. So we're just gonna go into all these houses and talk to everyone I can find. Do you know the secret? The jewels in the eyes of the Alexander Stature are so beautiful that you sort of lose yourself in them. That's great. I'm gonna destroy your stuff. Thanks for the info. I'm destroying your property. <laughs> Stealing your clothes. Or your money. Or whichever I can find. Okay, I already talked to that dude. I talked to them previously, but I'll talk to him again just in case. Just can't believe this has happened. I dread to think of blah 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 sad. Whee! Yeah, there's nothing in here. For being so round, Yangus is awfully aerodynamic. Ah, it's you. Went inside the eyebrows, did you? It's quite an impressive place, eh? I may not believe to look at it now, but I was once a maid there in my younger days. It's true. I mean, I could believe it. it seems like a pretty believable thing. Let's we'll see if there's anyone in church that I can talk to that's not the old preacher. Oh, preacher man! Nope, just preacher man. That's true. You're you are correct. They are they are round and aerodynamic. So yeah, 
So maybe Yangus is part raindrop. <laughs> What's up, little dude? I'm a peddler. I travel around selling my wares. I came through the western checkpoint to get here. It was very strange. It looked like I had been broken open by some kind of terrifying force. I wonder what it was. Ooh, kitty! Meow. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the information. On his mother's side or father's side? Um, I I I want to be able to tell you. <laughs> uh, let's see. We only go to the Eastern Tower once a year on Alexandra's Day, a holy day where there are no monsters about. It's still quite a way off. My dad already, my father's already down in the dumps about not being able to go this year. Hmm. I always go and see the statue of Alexandra once a year. It's what keeps me hanging on, you know. We're all supposed to go again not long from now, but I doubt that'd be possible under the circumstances. No monsters, huh? That gives me at least some vague idea of how I open the door. Maybe I need to use like a holy water or something, and then try to go in. You just, you just came out of the Albert Mansion, right? What was going on there? Was there a smarmy looking man saying awful things to Miss Jessica? I'd have, I'd have dashed in there and save her if there, if there was. Be your knight in shining armor. I thought I'd ever actually have the nerve to do it, knowing me. What? You see, he wasn't saying anything particularly awful? Well, that's a relief. So it's just because only Mar Mary not creepy because she has to. Surely. I mean, how could someone like her truly want to marry someone like him? It's just unthinkable. Yeah, but we're just going to continue talking to anyone I can find because, yeah. Plus, that way I'll be in town so when I end stream so I can just save. Do you know anything, Karts? Good talk. <laughs> I, I probably should talk to Jessica's mom, actually. Now that I found I'm, I'm surprised I didn't think of that sooner. Considering, you know... But where's she... Where, where'd you go? Uh, let's talk to Bangers and Mash, I guess. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry about before, but not sorry enough to let you through here. What? She's not in her room? Ha, I knew you were dodgy from the first moment I saw you, so don't think you can put one over me. There's no way she's not in her room. So prove it. You can't just say something like that without proof. Are you a complete thicko or what? We have proof. Lady Rosalind, this bloke called Fancy, no, Francis, hmm, Foince or something, have gone downstairs for lunch. What kind of things the Albert family eat? Fiance, <laughs> Foincy. <laughs> All right, well, let's go. I guess go downstairs and see if we can talk to them and tell them, hey, Jessica's gone. That's a bedroom. I saw them, you know, Miss Jessica and her poor mother arguing like cat and dog. What they were arguing about? I don't rightly. Really. Something about revenge. That's all I could gather. Oh. It's just she's never very friendly yet. We talked to you already, little kiddo. Thanks for the input. Oh, what's up? There's a secret to the door of the Eastern Tower. Only people from our village know how to open it. Mr. Officer found it open one day. That's why he went inside. Anyway, enough of that. I'm afraid I can't leave you in at the moment. Remember, Lady Rosalind and Master Lenzo are eating, you see. Fucker. I'll go the other way if there is another way. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ. Can I, like, use the letter? 
Oh, yep, there we go. <clears throat> Ingus reads Jessica's letter. I don't know who will find this letter, but please consider it my last will and testament. For by the time you read this, I will already be gone. I am going to the tower in the east. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Mother, I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation. But this is about something far bigger than tradition. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me. We're all British. And to bangers and mash, I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you'll forgive me as well. Signed, Jessica. What? A, a letter from Jessica? No way! You're lying! She's been in our room the whole time! So how could she give you a letter? I don't know. It sounds sort of real to me. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll check her room. But if I'm right, you better leave and never come back! Got it? Right, just wait here. No running away now! You can barely open the fucking door. <laughs> Mash, no! Hey! She is gone! Give me that letter! This is definitely Jessica's handwriting. But if she really did go to the tower, she'll end up just like her brother, Alistair. This is bad. This is really bad. We've got to do something. We've got to get her out of there. You! This is partly your fault. So, I'll open the door to the tower. You go in and get her. Got it? Okay. All right, cool. We've got to hurry to get to the tower. Go left down the path outside the village. <clears throat> oh boy, we get a child in our party. That's fun. Oh, one more thing. I'll leave the monsters to you lot. <laughs> Listen, Mash, whatever you do, don't let Jessica's mum find out where she went. Yes, sir, bangers. Good. Come on. We gotta hurry! Yeah, we gotta hurry to save the game. Oh, this child's gonna be following me now. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Are you gonna follow me to the safe to the church so I can save? Cause we are out basically out of time for today. That's okay though. Got a pretty good amount of stuff done. Yeah, we can throw him like a football. <laughs> Just eat the eat the child through the, over the wall or through the wall or through a hole or something. I probably should. Yeah, let's go. We'll sleep and then we'll save. Just so I don't forget to do it next time, which will be next Monday. <laughs> I'm sure we could. Oh, I guess time does change in town. I didn't think it did. That's interesting. <laughs> and if there's a muster we can't win, I'm sure we can run faster. Rat run faster than him. <laughs> that's that's the thing. Is like if you're if you with your friends and there's like a scary monster, or like a bear or something, you don't have to run faster than a bear. You just have to run faster than your friend. <laughs> All right, sweet deal. Off we go. Cocker doodle doo, and then we will save, and then that'll be where we end our stream for today.
Not not too bad. Peaceful respite, yada yada. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so that is Dragon Quest VIII. First stream of that for today. We're gonna put the end of the stream thing majigger up here. Where is it at? There we go. Put that up there. Thank y'all so much for coming by. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me while I start this game that I've been meaning to play for years. Like, years and years. <laughs> But, so. Hey, thanks for being here, Nakura. It's always nice having you around. Yeah, about 90 Maybe more than that. <laughs> maybe more than that. But we'll, we'll see it, we'll see it to, through to the end. Um, tomorrow, we'll be starting Tales of Arise. I've been looking forward to that game for a while as well. So, we'll be st starting that tomorrow. And Wednesday, we'll be doing more Hydroneer, which is a, just a fun, chill building kind of game. And Saturday will be more probably Minecraft in the evening time and something else in the morning. We'll see. I'll still have to figure out what we're going to do. But otherwise, that'll be the end of the stream for today. I'll be streaming tomorrow at the same time, 7 a.m. CST. Uh, let's see if I can find someone to raid real fast before we get going too far. Let's see. Close that, close that, close that. Let's open up Twitch. And, okay, let's see, who we got going? Um, uh, let's drop in and see how Twitchy Charlie is doing. Good, good little, good little deer. Fun, fun streams and stuff in general. They're play, playing whatever Faith is. I don't, I don't know what Faith is, but we can find out, so... I'm going to end my stream, and we will begin the raid. See you there, and if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you next time. Have a pleasant day, okay? Okay, OBS, calm down.